Hey guys, I'm trying to beat the rain here. Um, so we're gonna make strombolis tonight. We're gonna make uh, steak strombolis and also Italian meats strombolis. So I'm gonna use the uh, flat iron to cook up some steaks and uh, well chip steak, and then um, the Italian sausage. Uh, we're gonna actually cook the strombolis on the acorn. Um, right now I'm just going to get some, uh, some lump charcoal ready for, um, for the acorn because I know it's going to take a bit to get going. I also have a guy coming supposedly to buy one of my mowers. I was trying to schedule it around that but he hasn't gotten in touch with me. He was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. So, um, just getting things ready. Next part of the video, we're going to fire up the flat iron and uh, get the, um, the steaks ready for that, and also the Italian uh, sausage. So that's gonna be good. I still have some lump, lump charcoal in here from, uh, from last time I was cooking. Um, I think that was steaks. I took some pictures, I didn't video it. Uh, but, Ramping things up, let me um, let me get things ready, and we'll be right back. I'll see you next to the flat iron. All right, guys, we have, I'm gonna put three Italian sausage down. We're gonna cook those up for the uh, Italian meats stromboli. And then, the same uh, shaved steak that we used in last night's video, which you can catch right up here. For the uh, for the steak strombolis, so I'm just gonna kind of cut these up a tiny bit. I have it about medium heat. They're really thin, so they're gonna cook quickly. A little salt. A little pepper. So I have these three on uh, medium and this one's off over here. And I guess I don't really need to have these cut up anymore, but I always like to kind of shred them up as much as I can. So let me uh, let me work on these guys, and we'll be right back. All right, while these guys are cooking, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, slice them up a little bit. Want to make sure they're cooking all the way through. Although they will cook inside the uh, stromboli. See they're pretty smushy inside still. Oh, ho, ho, this one's falling apart. That's all right, we don't care what it looks like. I was, I was aiming for nickels, but I think what we're getting here is uh, little piles, which is fine. So let's mix these around a little bit. And again, they're going to cook inside that stromboli too, so... Oh, we lost one! That's right, I didn't like that one anyway. Alright, I'm going to keep working on these guys. Coals are ready. Drop them in. Whoosh. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get this thing ready. Putting in the uh, deflector shield. And then the, uh, the main grate. Baby great. And the pizza stone. So we'll let this heat up a little bit. We want to get like uh, 350 degrees ish. So everything's wide open right now. Um, I'm still finishing up on that uh, Italian sausage. So, wide open at the bottom, wide open at the top. Once it gets to about 275, 300, I'll start closing things down so we can, we can stop at about uh, 350 or so. Hey, so we're uh, right at 350. But one thing I forgot, I wanted to put some hickory on here. So we gotta figure out How to dive in here and uh, and put some hickory. Right, I'm, I'm gonna lift this one up. I'm hoping not to make it break that little guy. All right, so now we can, I got these little hickory guys I cut. I had some uh, hickory splits from down the road. Uh, let's just throw a three in there. Woo. That's a heavy guy. All right, so let's start making these things. Man, I forgot the pizza stone. All right, so I've never made these before. I did just wash this off, so it's a little bit damp still. So I'm gonna put some flour down.
All right, here we go. So this is just a dough I bought from Weiss. It's a... Uh, I don't know how big it is. 22 ounces. I don't know how easy it's gonna get to, it's gonna be to get out of this bag. If I just try to pour it, get out of the bag. You're free, go. So the trick is you turn the bag inside out. Get off. You throw the bag over there. All right, so supposedly this makes a uh, 14 inch pizza. So we're gonna um, go ahead and spread it out with our fingers. I should turn this music down because I'm going to get copyright. So let me spread this out. You see it. Every time I try to spit it out, it just sucks back in. That's fine. So, obviously you want to wash your hands before you, you try this. And you don't want too much flour on here because if you have too much flour, it's not going to stick to itself when you start rolling it up. We're making two of these. This one, let's go ahead and make the, uh, the, the steak stromboli first. You saw that hole right here, right? I'm pretending like it's not there. I don't think it's gonna matter. It is sticky. I'll give you that. All right. So, I think we're about, I don't know if, if what I'm doing is, is helping at all. All right, so we're gonna pretend that's perfect. Uh, so this is, the, um, this is the steak one. So let me grab some of the steak. It's still on the uh, on the flat iron. So I just kind of move it around. Here's some steak. All right. Now we're gonna take. Uh, some of this mozzarella. This is Tay here. But my hands are uh, full of steak grease, so I can't really grab it. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut it open. So this is the, um, it's thick cut shredded cheese. If you if you if you try the the thin like the the regular shredded, you're probably going to burn it up. So I've read, and I I totally skipped the uh, the pizza sauce. So we're gonna we're gonna put that right on top. So this we're just using Classico pizza sauce. The wind's starting to kick up. It's threatening to rain. I 
I got two of these jars, so I'll put the whole jar on if it wants it. That's probably good, right? So put that off to the side. All right, so now, let's go ahead and start folding it. If I can grab the edges here. Here's our tear. We don't care about that tear. We're just gonna keep folding it. It's a pretty heavy one. That's a big boy right there, huh? So make a couple of cuts across, make three cuts. So it's gonna look fancy. I'm gonna, um, Put this on some parchment paper. That was loud for you guys, huh? Don't go away. Yep, thanks, that was helpful. All right, now I gotta lift it up. All right, that one's good. So let's go ahead, put this guy off to the side. <clears throat> and let's make our next one. So the next one, uh, let's throw some uh, flour down. Nope, that's way too much flour. Got our dough. Our uh, acorn, still sitting right about 350. I can smell a hickory. So now we know the trick. I'm just gonna turn this bag inside out. pretty sticky in there. So this one's gonna be our Italian meats one. Should be pretty good. So I, I pulled the family before uh, making these, asking who wanted cheesesteak kind and who wanted Italian meats. And it was split right down the middle. So that's why we have two different ones we're doing. This one doesn't seem to be wanting to spread out as easy as the first one. I don't know if I was just lucky on that one or I made a couple key moves that help me out. But I'd really like this one to start playing along so I can get some stuff on it. It's getting pretty thin in the middle and pretty thick on the sides. I'm trying to push these guys down at the edges. Spread that out. So Italian meats, we're gonna do um, Virginia ham, just lunch meat, some pepperoni, and then the, uh, the sausage we cooked up. Um, you think that's good? Looks good to me, right? We'll be able to fold that over. 
All right, so this time let's start with the uh, pizza sauce because I think you're you pretty much want it on the crust. A little bit left. I'm thinking we want maybe a little bit more. All right, so that's good. Next, let's get the uh, the ham out. This is just uh, Virginia ham. Toss it around, fold it in half. We'll put one more on. Put this back in this little baggie. Uh, let's see if we can open this with our sticky fingers. So pepperoni. Come on. Is this too much pepperoni? Is there such a thing as too much pepperoni? And then last but not least, oh, well not last because we still got the cheese. We gotta put our Italian sausage on. Grabbing this off of the, uh, the flat iron. So this was three sausages I cooked up. Well, we cooked it up. You're with me, so we can, we can say that we did it together. Boom, look at that. All right. Now some mozzarella. I don't know if this is, is this too thick to fold? I guess we'll find out. Are we ready? Let's fold this guy up. And then I got still got to put it on the parchment paper. The the folding part does not like me very much. It wants to tear. I'm like, "Don't tear. Just be my friend and and fold it up." So, it looks like we we got it. We gotta do our three cuts. Boop, boop, boop. All right, now we're gonna try to get the parchment paper. Checking the acorn, acorn's still at 350. All right, this is the parchment paper we have left. And it's windy. I don't know if this is going to fit. I don't know if I can lift it up. There we go. Do it. Go. All right. So, next step, wash my hands, and we'll throw it on the acorn. All right. Be right back.
We are right at 350. Let me open this guy up. Hopefully these two are gonna fit. There's the one, that's the Italian meats. And here is our steak one. So they're both on parchment paper. They're both on the, uh, the pizza stone. We're gonna close them up for uh, about 15, 20 minutes. We'll see how things are going. And we're back. All right guys, 15 minutes, or no, 20 minutes. Sorry about that. Burp it. So they're coming along pretty well. Everything's cooked inside, but I'd like to see this a little bit browner. It's got a hard crust to it. But I'd like to see uh, a little more brown. So we're gonna give it another five, 10 minutes. All right guys, it's been maybe 25, 30 minutes. I was thinking 25 minutes, but these things are ready. So let's go ahead, uh, that's ripping. I was hoping I could pick it up by this. That's not gonna work. Let me grab All right, ready? Let's see if this works. Nope. Time out. All right, secret weapon, spatula. Let's go ahead. Grab this guy. Onto this. Ho ho. That guy's huge. All right. Let me see what happens with this guy. All right. That's all done. Let me shut this down. Close the vents. I'll reuse that charcoal uh, probably tomorrow. All right, let's cut into this. All right, so let's get rid of uh, this parchment paper. Oh, these look so good. Not you, you don't look good. Just gonna throw that right down there. I'll get that later. So look at these. These are giant, right? You know what? Let's, uh, we're gonna let them rest five minutes, right? We'll see you right in uh, about five minutes. All right, I gave it about five minutes. I need to cut into these, I'm, I'm starving. All right, so let's take, uh, this is the, that's the steak one. This is the Italian meats one. And it is hot, let me tell you. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? That is crazy. That's crazy. All right, now let's cut into the cheesesteak one, which you see is already spilling off over to the, over on the side. That is super hot. Burn my hand. Oh wow. Check that out. 
Here, let's do a let's do an overlay like this. Wow, these are awesome. Look at that. That's crazy. All right, so let me. Uh, I need I need to take a bite. Let's go ahead and uh, figure this out. All right, I'm gonna try some of the Italian meats one. So let me uh, slice a little bit off of that one. I think it might still be too hot to try and do this, but let me try. Look at that. So it's got uh, it's got ham, pepperoni, and that Italian sausage we, we cooked up. Mmm. That is awesome. You see it? Yep. Again. Like last night. I'm not going to tell anybody this dinner's ready because I'm just going to go ahead and eat it all. So, you saw, it was pretty easy. Got some marinara sauce there. Mmm. Sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't fair. All right. So, you saw how easy it was. Pizza dough. Roll up your stuff. You can add peppers, onions, whatever you want. <clears throat> We're going plain tonight. But this was... I just... I can't wait to eat the rest of it. So... Hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mmm.